All right, so it's a quick tutorial on how to set up a custom SN curve for a fatigue analysis in SOLIDWORKS. So here I have a static study. I have set up just on a simple part to, for this tutorial. So let me insert a new simulation. So if I go to simulation, new study, um, let's choose the fatigue study type. And I'll just do, we're doing just a constant amplitude repeated event study. So I'll choose the default there and do new. Now here I have to define a couple things for the fatigue study. I right click this load, add event. So I need to tie this to a, my static study and you can tie it to multiple studies, but you need at least one other study. So fatigue itself, you don't add the loads. You have a different static or dynamic study where you're adding the loads. So I'm telling it to use static study one, scale it to one. So use the loads I use in that study. And let's say I want to analyze the life of 50,000 cycles. So that's what I enter here, how many cycles at that load. And I'm saying fully reversed, but you could have zero based where it's just a positive load. Um, but here I'm going to do fully re uh, reversed. So I'll do OK, which means I'll have a positive and negative of the load that I applied in that static study. Um, so then I need, once I have that event defined, then I have my model pops up here. And for the material, I need to define the SN curve. And so here is where I go back. I need to, I can need to enter the, S, uh, the cycle data n and the stress data data s here. Um, so I, I go that's where I go to my engineering paper the XYZ sheet where I estimated the SN curve by going through uh, in this case for a steel alloy selecting my loading here I use FEA for the loading FEA for the um, size factor surface factor you pick how let's say this is the machine part for example. Um, operating temperature, what reliability you want. And so that generates an SF, SN curve for us. And so here I'm going to, um, we have two different curves. This one has lots of points in it, a thousand points, but this displays nicely, but doesn't import into SOLIDWORKS very well. And so what I'm gonna do is um, use this curve instead, because it's two line segments, just two points each. And as we'll see, that imports nicely into SOLIDWORKS. So I'll hit the Copy Data button, which allows me to bring it into it copies to my clipboard, so I can go into um, Excel, do Control-V to paste that. Now, since it's two different curves, it gives me, with two points each, it gives me uh, two sets of columns here. So I need to just put this into one curve, and so I have this repeat point here at 1 million cycles. That's where the knee of the curve is, where it switches from having a, a slope and a log log scale to having uh, being flat where we hit the endurance limit. So I don't want to repeat that point, so I'm going to drag these two points over, and so that gives us our three points. So we have our 1,000 cycles, our million cycles, and SOLIDWORKS will automatically treat this as a log. This is linear just on a log log scale. SOLIDWORKS will interpolate that as a log log. And then I have the insurance limit up to a billion cycles there. So let me go and we'll copy this. So I'll select those, control C, go over to my SOLIDWORKS window, and just click on this first box and do control V. So that adds that. Now the thing you gotta be careful of here is the units. This is our in Pascals, Newton per meter squared. You just switch this to megapascals. Now, notice it changed my value, so I actually have to delete these because I have them in the wrong units. Go back here, because this is in megapascals. So I'll control C again. Uh, control V. Now I have it, the units matching the unit SOLIDWORKS is expecting. Um, this calculator is assuming a fully reversed, it's all based on fully reversed data. So we want a load ratio in SOLIDWORKS of minus one to default. It is doing a log log interpolation, which is important because this is not a linear curve on a linear scale, but it is linear in log log, so SOLIDWORKS will take care of that. So that's how we can get away with just the three points uh, for this curve. But now I have that set, so I can hit apply and close, and now I can hit run the study. Take a look at the results. So I said 50,000 cycles, the the stress in my static analysis, if I double click that, do a probe, just kind of the average stress here is about, this is in MPA, so it's about 100 MPA. So if I go back to my SN curve that we're using here, so at 100, we expect the ball to go out to um, about 300k cycles. So at 50k cycles, we should be well uh, below that, though we have, may have some stress concentrations that make it some hot spots. So let's go back to SOLIDWORKS here. Um, let's go back to our fatigue analysis and hit run this study. All it's really doing is creating a color plot for where, based on that stress plot from the static analysis, 
And so percent damage is kind of a weird metric, but what that means is if you have 100% damage, that means at that point it fails, uh, and over that just means it failed earlier uh, than 50,000 cycles. So for the majority of our model, we're at that 100 uh, megapascals, so well below um, the um, 100 megapascals, we could go up to 300k. At, at 50k, we could have stress up to about 150 or so. Um, so we're below that for most of the model, so it's showing damage below at a low percentage. So if I probe the model here, um, it's showing 16% uh, damage, so 16% of that load that would cause failure at 50,000 cycles. Um, but we're having a few hot spots which are would have a fatigue failure um, if we're counting for the stress concentrations correctly. They would likely add more detail to our model to account for that, get it more accurate in the stress concentration areas. Here we have um, the, this, I think this plot makes more sense. It's giving you the life at every point on your model. So for most of our model, it will go out to, if I probe kind of the average here, it will go out to 300K cycles like we'd expect. So some places we do have, um, let me just do it this way. Let's show min, uh, show min annotation, which is important for the life plot. So we have some spots where that same stress concentration it shows us that the life there is uh, 31,000 cycles instead of the 50,000 cycles we were shooting for. So we could do some more refinement there. But that's a quick way to show you how to use this engineering paper at XYZ estimate of the SN curve for steel alloys, how to use the second piecewise linear plot, which gives you the four points. We're plotting them with two points each to get that. Paste that into Excel. We're able to bring that into SOLIDWORKS in our uh, fatigue study for the SN uh, curve for that material.